Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport and asks what work has been done to repair and reopen Christchurch roads and highways following the February 22 earthquake. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the State Highway Network was in fact remarkably resilient. NZTA worked quickly to check and reopen the vital roading links in Christchurch, including the Littleton Tunnel, which was reopened to emergency vehicles the day after the quake, and State Highway 74, which was by February the 24th, was open to general traffic flows. A major focus has been the removal of tonnes of silt from the roads in Christchurch, and some remedial work has taken place on State Highways 73 and 74, including new seals. Colin King. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What is being done to assist the Christchurch City Council with the repairs required for local roads? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, NZTA and their contractor on the Christchurch Southern Motorway project immediately released workers from that project in order to fix uh, immediate problems on the roads. <laughs> NZTA are also providing engineers from around the country to assist the Council with damage assessment. Looking ahead, NZTA will provide a significantly higher than normal rate of funding assistance to the Council so it can get on with local road and bridge repairs. As mentioned in answer to the earlier question, the repair is currently estimated at between three and four hundred million dollars, and in addition we are looking at contracting arrangements which will provide Christchurch with an efficient and coordinated response to repairing roads and other horizontal infrastructure. Question number twelve, the Honourable Steve Chadwick. Mr. Speaker. 